Okay, as you guys can see from the title of the video and from this FedEx box that we got here, this is going to be an unboxing video of a pistol specifically. And I've got a lot of PMs about this specific pistol. And I've also got a lot of PMs, people wanting to know, hey, what's a good, cheap pistol that's high quality and the ammunition's cheap, but it's less than a 9mm, but more than a 22 or a 380 that I can get my wife or girlfriend started out on. And I guess I get a lot of those questions because of all the videos I have up of my wife and I shooting. We really enjoy shooting together. And a lot of people have also asked me what I started my wife out on. Well, I started my wife out on that up there. The government model Colt 1911. But that's not right for everybody. you got to have the right mental state for it. Guns scare a lot of people, especially women. And, you know, you got to start out small. A lot of people do, and that's totally okay. And I really like these pistols. I've shot a few. I've wanted to get one for a while, but I just have never found one that I liked at the price. And I've been looking at them online lately, and I ended up finding a really, really good company to get these from and to get other guns from. And they're going to be below in the description here. And I'll talk about them in other videos. This is just going to be basic unboxing. But the customer service and everything with this company was great communication was great you sent an email you got an email back you know that day so can't say enough about that good companies these days are hard to find so like I said I'm gonna have it below for anybody who's interested in one of these highly recommend them this is going to be the first in a series of review videos on this pistol this is just the basic unboxing so without further ado let's get started of course, this box has already been opened. I had to pick it up from the FFL dealer. So when you first open up the box, you reach in here and you get this paper here that says, Caution, this is a CNR gun. It's been sitting in Cosmoline for a lot of years. Please clean it before you load it and shoot yourself because you have a slam fire. Basically, that's what this little piece of paper is going to say. Next thing you're going to reach in here and grab is some NRA stuff paraphernalia. Very nice. Next thing we're going to get is a cleaning rod, which this is going to come in handy later because we are going to shoot the crap out of this thing. Ooh, and it's got a uh, flathead screwdriver. I just noticed that on the end of it. That must be for taking the hand guards off. Uh, the next thing we got here is a lanyard. That's neither here nor there. Americans, we don't use it. You don't use lanyards and here is the instruction manual and you can see there by the manual that the pistol we're talking about is a CZ 82 great pistol so there's the instruction manual tells you how to take it apart next little goodie we got here is the holster really really high quality holster or a mag pouch I should say holster for the magazine you guys know what I mean first thing you'll see like I said really high quality it's got steel inserts, really thick stitching, high quality leather. The magazine clicks in there, real snug. I really like it. Buttons real sturdy, flips up, great. Here's the double stack magazine, holds 12 rounds. You got the uh, windows here so you can see how many rounds you got. Great mag. So stick that back in there and set that aside over here and to the main event again as soon as you pull this out of the box the first thing you're going to notice is how awesome the holster is the holster the closest thing I can compare it to is my Galco holsters there are steel inserts here and there's a steel insert here and here to help it retain its shape it's really thick you can see the heavy duty stitching that's all around it just super high quality police or military style holsters you can see we've got the strap straps around here and then you take this off and there's the button as you can see the pistol is cocked and the reason for that is that with the hammer down the strap is not long enough to wrap all the way around but that is also kind of a safety feature because if that hammer falls it's gonna hit nothing but the leather so we'll go ahead and take the pistol out and we'll set the holster aside but again very high quality the only thing I can really compare it to is a Galco very, I mean, that's what you think of as soon as you take it out. I would say if this was for sale, you know, an American store, 60 to to $100. Dollars. 
would be what this thing is worth. Because it's just a really, really awesome holster. I mean, look how thick that is. It's a great holster. I like it a lot. Here's the main event. The CZ-82. Of course, we'll just safety check it. As you can see, there it is empty. But you have the CZ-82. It's a Czechoslovakian pistol and 9x18 Makarov. And 9x18 Makarov has become more popular because of the Makarov pistols on Call of Duty. For all you Call of Duty fanboys out there, it's gotten a lot more popular. And the Makarov pistol has gotten a lot more popular. However, I do believe the CZ-82 to be far superior to the Makarov. The Makarov's a nice pistol, and it has a blued finish. However, the CZ-82 has several features that we're going to go through that are a lot better than the Makarov. So, first thing you're going to notice is... Even though it's a small pistol, you see the grip here. That grip just feels awesome in any size hand. It just conforms to the shape of your hand. There's a groove for your pointer finger and there's a groove for your thumb. It feels great in the hand. So that is a really big thing going for it. Another big thing going for it is the magazine release. As you can see it's down here. It's located where a standard Western magazine release is. The Makarov's magazine release is down at the base of the gun. It's really awkward and hard to get to. But this is a standard Western style magazine release. And on top of that, it's ambidextrous. It works on both sides. You click it on this side, the magazine pops up. You click it on this side, the magazine pops up. Really nice. I don't know. There, there are not too many pistols out there like that. The controls, very 1911 style controls. It's a double action pistol, so it has to be cocked for you to lock it. Just like a 1911, cocked and locked. So like I said, very 1911, 1911 style slide release. The slide release is not ambidextrous, but the safety is. But the slide release doesn't need to be ambidextrous because you can actuate it with your pointer finger if you're left handed. So, not a big deal. So again, cocked and locked. Let the safety off, the hammer goes down. The next thing you're going to be really highly impressed with is the double action. It is so sweet on this gun, I kid you not, it puts my $1,000 H&K over there to shame. It's short, it's light, very crisp. I wish you guys could try it. It is one of the smoothest double actions I have ever felt. I mean, you just cannot believe that you only pay $230 for this whole setup and you get a pistol that has that kind of a trigger pull. So, very sweet trigger pull. Another nice thing about this gun is it has polygonal rifling. Also like the H&K. So, we'll go through and we'll do some disassembly because there's something very important. As soon as you get this Makarov, it is a C&R pistol. Meaning, as soon as you get it, this is the first thing you need to do after you do your little safety check and you get home. I have been told I have seen in forums there have been people that buy these and they just immediately they put rounds in the magazine they go to chamber around or they go to the range and they ended up shooting you know ended up having a slam fire some guy shot himself through the hand right there because the firing pin will be stuck in the fire position because there's so much cosmoline and grease up inside the slide here that it's stuck in the forward position and when they close the slide they have a slam fire so we're going to take it apart and we're going to show you how to clean that area out because that is the first thing that you need to do so to disassemble this it's kind of like an M1 Grand actually you pull up and out on the trigger guard and it just kind of pops there you go and then you pull the slide all the way to the rear and you hinge it upwards and then it comes off and you've got the mainspring and the slide there and as you guys can see here it's a fixed barrel it's fixed to the frame and see the barrel looks to be smooth and that's because of the polygonal rifling but it'll be very accurate because of that fixed barrel so anyway you take your slide and again this is the most important Again, also, it's just like a 1911 and how you get that firing pin out of there. You're going to take a pin or something pointy, and you're going to push the firing pin right there. You're going to push that down, and you're going to move the plate back. 
and then you're going to put your thumb over it because if you don't, when you pull this plate out and you're looking at the slide, you're going to skewer your eye because that spring, or that firing pin I should say, is under tension. So you're going to take this out and you're going to clean inside the slide here very well. Get it cleaned out, spray degreaser in there, get it super clean, and then put a good oil on the spring and on the firing pin. As you can see here, this is a very 1911 style firing pin. But get that area all cleaned out so, you know, there's nothing in there holding this firing pin in the fire position. You know, you don't want to have an accident. So once you have that all cleaned, you put it back in there. And you take the little plate here. And again, you got to be careful with this that it doesn't become an eye skewer. Alright, and then... I just use a pen here. I use the pen to push the firing pin back down into its channel. Again, being careful not to let this become an eye skewer. And then push that plate back over top of it. And then it's back in place. You have that all cleaned out. The firing pin stop and the spring will work exactly as it's designed to work. You won't have any troubles with slam firing. It's a very safe pistol put it back together, put the spring over the barrel, and you put the slide back over, again all the way to the rear, it'll drop down onto its feed ramps and slide forward, push the trigger guard back up, do a function check, back together, there you have it. Here's the ammunition, like I said, 9mm, 9x18 9 Makarov cheap ammo, readily available. Sometimes you have to order it depending on where you live. But, you know, Monarch makes it, Tula makes it, Wolf makes it, Winchester White Box, you can get it. So real quick in closing, I have no idea where you guys are going to find for $230 a military grade pistol that has an excellent reputation for reliability, durability, and accuracy with a super high quality holster magazine pouch, two magazines, cleaning rod, and lanyard. You're going to get that whole package shipped for $230. This is an excellent company to be doing business with. This is an excellent deal. And he offers it at several different price points. For example, the gun just by itself is $180. Bucks, and there are several different variations of this package that you can get. And that will be all below in the description. And like I said, I know of no other better deal out there for this kind of pistol. It's just an awesome deal, and this is an awesome gun. And I want to tell you, as far as the price points go, as you guys can see, this is a pretty clean pistol. But if you see one, or you're looking at one that's cheaper and it's got finish wear, don't be afraid of that. The one downside of the CZ82 is it has a baked-on phosphate finish. That means it's basically paint, all right? So just taking it in and out of the holster repeatedly is going to take the finish off. There are a lot of people out there that will Duracoat or gun coat these for you or hot glue them for you. And they've gotten excellent, excellent results from it. So don't be afraid of some finish wear that reflects nothing on the mechanics of the gun. The finish on these guns come off easy. If there is one flaw, that is it. So again, I highly recommend this gun highly recommend the company it's going to be a lot of fun testing this so check back tomorrow for more vids and that's pretty much the video i'll see you guys later